Nathan had an electric loan spell in the championship last season, contributing to 22 goals in a side that trekked the championship like Jimmy Savile would have trekked a fairground. What do you mean by that? But now with Tellers Bearing Club being relegated from the Premier League, it's very much sort up in the air about what he should do this summer. Stay at Southampton a move back to the Premier League. First off, let's look at the prospect of Southampton. With the appointment of Russell Martin from Swansea City, it could be massive to keep Nathan Teller. The same superstar has taken part in one of the best football sides the Championship has ever seen in forever, basically. And if Russell Martin was to come back in, you'd expect that he would mirror a very similar style to what Vincent Company had last season. If you look at Martin and Company, their styles are very, very similar if you look at the possession which they held this season. But I think Company obviously had way better players to be doing it with than Russell Martin did at Swansea. But with Southampton going down, you'd expect the appointment of a random manager from Wales is not really going to be enough to stop Teller being dragged away from them. <laughs> Despite Southampton likely being able to hold a price tag for Teller with the other players that they're going to be selling such as James Ward-Prowse, Romeo Lavia, who will definitely bring in the big, big money. So I think you can expect them to probably hold that 15 to 20 million price tag for Nathan. I can't really see Teller being very happy just be held hostage in order for Southampton to get more money. Ain't no fucking way, boy. I mean, why would you want to spend another season in the championship when you literally made it your big the season before? Now, will Premier League clubs actually be interested. So, so you know, let's, let's not take the piss here. I mean, for sure, many clubs will be after the Saints man signature coming into next season, and more specifically, Vincent Company's Burnley. Tell him he had 38 appearances for Burnley in the championship last season, of a possible 42 he could have actually played in. I think this is a massive tale of how much Company trusts the winger and shows how much potential and ability Nathan Teller obviously has. I mean, it's very hard to get that many appearances when you're playing against players like Manuel Benson and Anna Saruri, who are so good and have such high ceilings going into next season. Last year was the first time the youngster completed a full season of football, whether it was injuries or Southampton just not rating him. Are you fucking blind? You get the sense that Teller would really want to return back to the club that took a gamble on him and gave an opportunity for his career to take off. And alongside that, Burnley have the exciting prospect of footballing legend Vincent Company at the helm, which Nathan Teller's obviously already had a connection with. And not to mention, he follows me on Instagram and Twitter. So if you don't and you want to be an absolute baller like Nathan Teller, make sure you go follow me right here. No doubt about it though, it's probably not just Teller looking at a move to Burnley. Burnley are more than certainly looking at a move for Teller. The clouds have reportedly been trying to wrap up a deal back in January for Teller coming into next season. And you'd really expect that interest to continue as we go into the summer and Burnley look to build a Premier League squad. I feel like a player like himself would be perfect for a club stepping up to the Premier League. I mean, you don't just want to bring in so many new faces through the door and cause a massive uphold of all the players and just cause a disruption through the squad. I mean, Teller's already comfortable with the club, the players, and more importantly so, the fans. But it would be Man United's level of delusion What do you say fuck me for? to expect no other clubs to come in for Nathan Teller this summer. Any team that will be in the bottom half of the Premier League next season would be crazy to not go in for the Saints winger. He can put the ball in the back of the net, he's solid 1v1, he's absolutely rapid, and he proved all these things in the prior season. However, the price tag likely to be whacked at him by Southampton will very much so deter many clubs. I mean, for an evaluation of around 15 to 20 million, which I expect Saints will ask for, it would be mental for many clubs to look at him and think, with his little experience, that that money is going to be 100% worth it. Whereas I think this is where Burnley are more than likely to come in for him. I think Teller, like I said before, will force a move out of Southampton, looking at Premier League football, and Burnley already know everything about Teller, pretty much down to when he washes his hair. But this means that the Clarets pretty much know exactly what they're signing up for come the summer, and if they really want to get him in, they know exactly what they're getting. Whereas, like I said before, this completely contrasts the feelings going through many other teams' heads as they think, can they really take the chance on a player with such little experience, especially when they're likely going to be in a relegation battle, with little funds which most lower-end Premier League clubs have in comparison to the market, it's not very likely for one of them to want to take a gamble on, like I said before, a player that they've never really really seen have a real shot at professional football. So I suppose you could say this could work in Burnley's favour, but at the same time, that lack of experience could come to the detriment of the Clarets. Nathan Teller is still an experience, no matter if he's done it with Burnley, Real Madrid or Barcelona, he's still not got a lot of experience, and I think that could show next season. Physically, the Premier League is way more demanding than the Championship, and this could potentially hold back Nathan Teller, but if he does continue to wisen up physically, which we have seen him do this season so far, then next season I really can't see a world in which he does not set it alight yet again for Burnley or Bournemouth or 
whoever really wants to take the chance. But I want to know where you think Nathan Dallow will end up next season, and I also want to know where do you want him to end next season down in the comments. If you have enjoyed today's video, I'm sure you'll enjoy this one right here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.